European football is back in Scotland. It would have been around this time last year that I was going to the St Johnston qualifiers. I went to a Celtic qualifier. I went to a Rangers qualifier as well. And the first one of this season that I will be going to is Motherwell against Sligo in the Europa Conference League. I'll say it again, and I've said it a few times, the Conference League, I love it because it gives chance uh, teams a chance to play in Europe when they wouldn't necessarily um, have qualified otherwise. So yeah, today is... Scottish Motherwell against Irish Sligo and of course I've just spent a couple of weeks in Ireland one of the videos that I made or a few of the videos that I made were actually in Sligo and one was just specifically about the away team tonight Sligo Rovers so just check this out first and I'll see you very very shortly for a march to the stadium our British fans love a march to the stadium on a European night don't they see you in a bit here is Sean Fallon. This looks like it's the Sean Fallon Centre, part of Sligo Rovers Football Club. And look, the main stadium is just over there. The weather is horrific, so I won't spend too long here. But this man is an absolute Celtic legend. He wasn't just a player for all these different teams and the Republic of Ireland national team, but he was also this Celtic assistant manager. Relatively small club, I say in inverted commas, especially in the grand scheme of football. They're not small in Irish terms. They're a very well-run, very big, successful team within Ireland. But in the world terms of football, um, they're obviously not massive, but they have produced people like Sean Fallon. And this area has obviously produced people like... Uh, like Brother Walford and then Seamus Coleman, and it's also brought in huge names like Dixie Dean. Oh, lovely to meet, man. How's it going? You okay? I'm good. I'm just on holiday, but I see, I'm a Motherwell fan. So oh, we might right, Motherwell fan. In the next. That's right. You might be, if they beat um, Ballatown. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thought, well, we're in the area. I'll just oh, check it out. Yeah. Stadium. Well, you might be coming back to see them play against oh, Motherwell. Hopefully. How are you, mate? You okay? Not bad. Nice to meet you, man. How's it going? Bad. Motherwell fan as well. Ah, oh, nice, I just nice. It was mad. I, I didn't expect to see. Oh, <laughs> you come all this way. Oh, mate, you got your Motherwell shirt on. It's looking good. Do you give yourselves a chance in Europe then? Against them, yes. Yeah, you think maybe, so? Maybe not ask them. So, I am with Aaron, right? Yeah. Big Motherwell fan. Yeah. How does it feel to have European football at Fair Park today? It's amazing. I've, it's been a long time since I've had it. Yeah. I'm hopeful they go through. Good atmosphere tonight, you think? Yeah. And a score prediction? 2 0 Motherwell. It was Ryan and Paul, right? Yeah. Two huge Motherwell fans, as I can see. Yeah. How, <laughs> how does it feel to have European football here tonight? Oh, it's brilliant. Well, first of all, it only the last time. Uh, just due to Covid, we couldn't get to the games. Yep. Uh, just fantastic to get back European football for a park. And are you confident over, I think, what you got two qualifiers to reach the group stage, right? So you got a win tonight and then another one after yeah, this. Yeah, we got a tough one next. Slavia Prague, is it? Sparta Prague. Sparta Prague, OK. Yeah. If they beat Reich, I... Yep. But are you confident, though, you could get there? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. I would say if we had a couple of week games under the belt, It'd be a bit this easier. Game, yeah. Like Sly going in the middle of the season. Yeah. Oh, that's so right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Fit. Yeah. And we're just getting started. So. And so, score prediction? I will say 2 1. 2 1 in. 2 0. Keys away. Thank you. Keys away. Keys away. Keys away. 4 0, Motherwood. 4 0. 3 0, Motherwood. 3 1, Motherwood. 5 0, Motherwood. 3 1, Motherwood. He's at it. He's doing something that hard. I have, mate. Look, it's awesome. You can do what? I am in love! I can do it! I am in love! European football at Fair Park, score prediction, what are you thinking? I'm picking 5 0 Motherwell. <sighs> uh, I'm a neutral here, so I'm just here for the football and the atmosphere, but I think Motherwell will do it because I've been told Sligo on the very good. Fair enough. So we expect that Motherwell win. A score? Uh, 3 0 Motherwell. Two huge Motherwell fans. Yes, that's right. Yeah. How did last season go to qualify you for Europe? Uh, Good. Yeah, it, was, it was a wee bit dodgy, so we didn't think we were going to get there, but we did in the end. Didn't started we? well, didn't it? Started very well, and then we were terrible for Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we got there. Absolutely. In Europe tonight against an Irish team. Yep. Confident about tonight, but maybe not so the next round. Yeah. yeah we'll go with that. I'm, you're never, I'm never confident as a Motherwell fan. <laughs> really? Never ever. But yeah, it's more uh, confident about tonight than if we get through. Yeah, fair enough. And so, score prediction for tonight, what are you thinking? 2 uh, 0 And yourself? 2 1 Motherwell. Nice, enjoy, guys. Yeah. 
pretty confident. You're confident, yeah? And so score prediction, what do you think? 3-1 Three one, one and? 2-1 one or 2-1 two one, How should the atmosphere be today, do you think? Oh, well, I've been at a few games. One of them was against Aberdeen. That was absolutely incredible. So yep. I can't even imagine how a European game's going to be. Here at Fair Park. Do you think it's going to be a sellout? Uh, uh, well, it certainly is in the John Hunter stand. But yep. I don't know about the rest of it. Should be decent anyway. And so score prediction for today? I've said 2-0 all day, but I'm slowly thinking it's only going to be 1-0 now. Oh, a tight one. What do you reckon? 2-1 last minute winner. 4-1. 4-1 and? 2-0 all day. Enjoy, lads. Enjoy. Thank you. So the march is about to start behind us. Should there be a good atmosphere here tonight, do you reckon? Yeah. And what do you think the score's going to be? Uh, I don't have a strong prediction. Doesn't want to jinx anything. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I think 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Right, guys, enjoy. Good luck. Here we go, the classic European qualifier march that we get every summer here in Scotland these days. Let's hope for a bit of pyro action. Score prediction. Score prediction, what are you thinking? 2 1, mate. 2 1, mate, enjoy. Scott, mate, lovely to meet you. Score prediction for today, what are you thinking? 3-1, um, mate. 3-1, mate, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Cheers. What are you, lads? Uh, I think it's going to be... 3-1 uh, as well. 4-2 and 3-1. Huge Mob World fan, as I can tell. How yeah. excited are you to have European football here? Pretty dang excited. We've, it's been a long trip. We didn't get to, get to go last year with COVID. COVID, yeah. So. And so, score prediction? 3-0, Mob World. Mob World's most famous fan, of course. Oh, Gogsy. Don't, don't tell me about that, bro. <laughs> Everyone hates me as it is. So, firstly, mate, explain to everybody um, how last season went for you to qualify for Europe today. Well, we did all the hard work before uh, the turn of the year, and then we went from Boxing Day till April without a league win. Yep. And then all of a sudden, we're here, we're in the Conference League, bring it on, Sligo Rovers, and hopefully, we're going to have. A good, a good time tonight, and it will mean a stress-free journey to Sligo for me next week. Yeah, so you're off to Ireland next week as well. And I'm absolutely buzzing for it. And so next round, it'd be Sparta, Prague, or Viking. That's a bit of a tougher test in it for my boy. Aye, but I'm not worried about that. Let's if just get there. through this yeah. first. So score prediction in. Uh, we'll go three 0 to the well. Three one the well, Van Dien goal. <laughs> 2-1, Van D with the double. Well, I think Mother will win 2-0 tonight. 2-0? Yep. Yourself? 6-6. Six, 6-6? Six. Six, six. That's a lot of goals. That'll be a record for this channel. Blair, mate, just introduce yourself for everybody watching. Eh, hey, you've already seen me before. YouTuber, Scottish YouTuber. Catch the match day experience, and today, what a game it is to do. Sligo aren't doing that, too, that well, but Scottish teams, we always make it hard for ourselves. Yeah. So. Thank you. Hey, here you are again, right lads? 
Nice to subscribe, mate. You're a legend, mate. What a guy. Chance for Sligo. A few seconds into the game, Sligo have almost scored already. seeing how they do shape up and so far Sligo have been pretty good Motherwell haven't forced the issue too much um, I'd say Sligo actually probably had the better chances but you know it's football and things can change like that Sligo have scored just as I was saying Sligo by far the better team and now, now one new I think it was a defensive error and um, a really good chip finish over the keeper and the boys from Ireland are ahead here Bobwell fans booing their team 45 minutes into the season already not good see you in the second half Sligo keeper against Van B. Now Sligo are going forward. Sligo have been decent, really impressive to be fair. Yes. There's a lot of boo going on in here. Sligo just uh, had a header, he's just landed on top of the roof of the net. Um, so Sligo doing well, but the Motherwell fans aren't happy in Motherwell. I hope you pick up right, the Sligo fans are absolutely bouncing up there. I'm loving their European top. Oh, Sligo are in, Sligo are in. Oh, he's missed the chance. Oh. Wow. That was good. Two new up here away from home. Just want to give a quick shout out to a lad called Jack. I just met your dad. Um, he asked for a picture. So yeah, Jack, um, cheers for watching the vids, mate. You've been watching with your dad, watching the island videos and um, big Mothwell fan. So thank you very much. You'll see that I have left uh, 10 minutes early. I never really ever do this. I think the only time I've ever done it was Man City. Um, my bag was in the bag drop and I had to get back for it. Um, but yeah, having to do it today, but I'll explain why in just a second. I firstly just want to say a massive thanks to all the fans who came on the video today. As ever, it's fantastic to get you all um, on the vlog. Um, the support I have in Scotland is phenomenal, so a huge thank you. And it's great to be back for my first competitive game of the season in Scotland. Um, yeah, I don't I even really want to go into it at all. Um, but I will just touch on why I'm leaving early and why I didn't film too much um, of the march and stuff. Just a small section of the Motherwell fans have a bit of an anti-YouTube sentiment. There's nothing that I've done. Um, again, I like to think that I cover Scottish football fairly. Well, every team, really, that I cover um, is fair and honest all the time, so it's nothing to do with me. There's just an anti-YouTube sentiment within a small section of the fan base, um, which is why I've left early. I didn't want to like, bump into any of them again. Um, but I was just made to feel very unwelcome. Let's just leave it at that. Um, yeah, I, I don't even want to say any other, anything more than that, but I shouldn't. Yeah, that's it. That's it for that <laughs> segment of the video. Um, well done to Sligo. Um, I thought they were absolutely fantastic today. It's still 1-0, unless anything changes. Um, I'll tell you a little bit later on, but 90th minute right now, still 1-0 to Sligo, who are absolutely fantastic. Please do hit a like button. Please do subscribe if you're new, and check out my Sligo video if you haven't already, so you can learn a little bit more about the club that I saw play today. I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.